Now, as I mentioned before, uh, loop quantum gravity is basically saying that time and space um, uh, condense to the um, finite level and that due to the time dilation effect issue already covered and that time being the time and space being the holders of information um, and the computer loading analogy um, that uh, if loop quantum gravity existed and that time was a finite breakdown that could be compared to bits on our measure or time is our own measure could be compared to uh, compa could be compared to a uh, uh, to a time dilation effect again due to this finite breakdown um, and that basically um, that this effectively could uh, give analogy for the computer's universe. Uh, by the way, another thing to account for randomness and probability in our universe line without it being pseudo-random, uh, new computers right now are, wor are theoretically working on something called qubits or quantum bits. These are even smaller than the existing bits and work off quantum phenomena. So that could be comparable to the Planck APOC, uh, much like our universe line if it was a really, really advanced computer race of uh, people working really, really advanced computers. Anyway, more in the next video.